Hi guys, my name's Nitz and I'm in my Microsoft Outlook program and um, I'm just going to show you what version it is. So I'll go to this page and it is 2007 Microsoft Office. Okay, so this will probably be the same in, um, I know it was the same in Microsoft Outlook, uh, which was an older version and um, a couple of the other prob uh, programs, probably even 2010 as well. So, right, we've got that out of the way. Now, um, what I'm going to do is make an autoresponder for an email that's coming in. So this email here has come in and it's an ebook that I've sold. So what I want to do is the first thing is I've got the thing there but instead of manually sending an email saying here's the link for your ebook I'm going to right click on the email and say create rule okay so we're on this first little page here and um, what I want to do is um, change the subject line here because it says notification of payment from so and so. So I've taken that off and this is just the generic um, thing that comes up. So whenever this book makes a sale, BLSCR, that's just the code name for it, when, whenever that makes a sale this is the um, thing that's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to tick this box here so anything with this subject that is addressed to me okay now they're the first two things now I'm going to press on advanced options so now I can see that that is there okay but see how I've edited it to item number and just the black screen because I didn't want the details of someone's um, email on there. Now I've got all these choices here but this is enough for me and now I'm going to press next okay now I want to choose what I want to do with it. Now as I stated before I want to send an email back to someone automatically so I'm going to scroll down and see where it says um, send a template. There it is, reply using a specific template. I'm going to tick that. Now every time you tick one of these you need to co go down here um, and f um, specify your value. So with this one I've already done it because I already changed it to what subject line triggers this. Now this one here is which template is it going to send. So I'm going to click on it and I've already made a template which I'm going to show you how but all I have to do is go to user templates and I've already made two templates here. So all I have to do is go to this one which is the template that I made and I'm going to press open. Okay, so now I've got any subject line coming in with item number blah 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 is going to get this email that I made. Okay, so now I'm going to press next. Okay, and um, are there any exceptions for this? Now I can say leave out these certain words or whatever okay but no there's no exceptions okay that's just a simple thing if that exact email comes in it gets this exact email sent back so let's press next okay so we've got to specify a name for it um, and we can run this rule now with everything that's in the inbox okay um, also make sure this is ticked, turn on this rule. Alright, so let's press finish. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to show you how I made that template which is really easy. So I'm going to press on new for new message and it comes up. 
Now I don't need to fill in the to box because this is an automatic message that's going to go to a lot of different people. So in the subject I'm going to write thank you for your purchase. Oop. Thank you for your purchase, yep. Right, and in here I'm just going to paste something. So just say, hi there, just in case you miss your download link. Here's a download link. Um, this is the one, this is the wrong one to the wrong book, obviously. And also, um, I'm just using this as an example for you. So I would give them the password to the page and stuff like that to get in there and get the product. So I would put all the details that they need. So the link to the product and the password. Okay, so I've got everything I need there and it's from me and blah blah blah. Sorry about that. And all I have to do is go up to the top and say save as. Okay, and choose save as. Now down the bottom here all I need to do here is choose Outlook Template. Okay? And thank you for your purchase and press Save. See how I've got my other ones there already that you saw? Okay, I'm going to press Save. So next time when I go and create a rule, I'm going to have this extra template available. Okay, so I'll close this window. And I don't want to save the changes. Okay guys, that's it. I hope that helps you get your auto emails out there and keep your customers happy. Alright, thanks for watching.